Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to CC, the test server for EVE Online. In today's video, I want to take a look at the redesign for the mining barges that CCP is planning probably for the next release. Uh, you can immediately tell this is a procurer that uh, the graphics are changing quite substantially. Um, I like it personally and uh, you can definitely see a lot of inspiration from the venture uh, in this. So the ore, uh, ore line of ships basically is, is coming together quite nicely into uh, a single uh, graphical uh, look. So we'll, we'll take a quick look at the venture here so that you can have a, an idea of, uh, of the, the changes here, how they look a lot more uh, similar now, definitely inspired. You have the same, if you look at the top of the venture here, you've got the same shape uh, coming back twice on what could be considered to be two bridges or two individual mining units or something like that. You of course have the ore inspired colors um, and then the very, the very industrial look here. I hope that at some point they'll do the same uh, with, uh, with the mining drones actually uh, because we already have the salvage drones that are definitely ore inspired but the mining drones could get uh, a redesign based on this as well uh, in my opinion but uh, yeah you can definitely see that the graphics are bringing the um, mining barges in line with the uh, venture uh, frigate line here looks very very cool um, now when it comes to the stat changes there are actually stat changes what i like a lot here is if you go show info we'll start with the tick ones uh, just to show you uh, basically the philosophy here uh, this is the procurer and in the description it says that the mining barge was designed by ore to facilitate advancing uh, the mining profession to a whole new level each barge was created to excel at a specific function the procurers being durability and self-defense um, so the procurer is basically going to trade yields efficiency for durability and self-defense looks looks pretty damn good we can do the same for the retriever which is uh, next in line when it comes to size the mining barge uh, the specific function for the retriever is storage so this has a huge ore bay in it and uh, its focus is, is definitely not on the fence it's on being able to um, operate for extended periods of time without requiring support um, so that is that is pretty cool this is definitely now focusing on yield and solo mining and then finally we have the uh, the description for the coveter the coveters being mining yield and mining laser range so this um, comes at a price as the coveter has weaker defenses and a smaller ore bay than the other mining bars. This is definitely what you want to fly when you're in um, in a fleet. The first thing that you'll notice right away is that all of them now have two strip miners. So if I go in the coveter, you can see that even the big one, the coveter here has two strip miners. So it's all about the bonuses. Uh, let's quickly go over these here. Showing for for the procure, this is the smallest one. 5% um, bonus to ship shield hit points, so not bad against gank. 2% reduction of strip miner and ice harvester duration. And 50% bonus to drone damage and HP. So this is obviously uh, what you want if you want to uh, defend yourself against pirates, against uh, against NPCs as well, to be able to last in the in the belts longer although at this point of course that rarely comes into play but yeah procure obviously two defensive bonuses and then just a two percent reduction in strip miner and ice harvester duration if we switch to the retriever next we already know that the retriever has this big ore hold that has not changed of 35,000 cubic meters um, oh, that's that's because i'm actually in the uh, cover here um, but if i go for attributes you can see that the or hold normally is it not here no nah, that's strange it's not here but uh, all right you know what we'll just quickly jump into the retriever and then i can show you the big ore hold of 27,500, it's 35,000 in the machina and then the traits are five percent bonus to ship or hold capacity oh gets an extra bonus for that now interesting interesting two percent reduction in strip miner and harvester duration that's the same as the um, the procurer 
and a 25% bonus to strip miner yield. So this does make the retriever the one that uh, that will actually get a very nice uh, yield above the procure of 25% more um, as a roll bonus. So that this doesn't get buffed uh, by skills. And then 20% reduction in ho ice harvester duration and activation cost. So you can use this for either our ice harvesting or uh, mining of ore. And then finally, we've got the cofter, which is the big one. Uh, which has a 5% bonus to strip miner at ice harvesting range. So I think that with the rework of uh, the boosting, of fleet boosting that will need to be on grid, uh, they're worried that uh, cofters may lose this, this big ability of being close to your orca or uh, something like that and, and then just be able to cover the entire belt. So up to a 25% increase in range is not bad. 2% reduction in uh, ice harvester duration and 25% reduction in strip miner and ice harvester duration and activation cost and it's actually supposed to be uh, a better bonus than just a 25 percent yield uh, if I'm, I'm looking at the reddit post as well at the moment that covers all of these numbers in much more detail uh, but it says that uh, when the uh, the 25 percent yield just gives you a 25 percent bonus the 25 uh, percent reduction actually gives you uh, a 33 percent effective uh, bonus because of the possible uh, bonuses that you can get from uh, from uh, boosts and, and things like that i guess um, so there we go that's basically the philosophy behind it right you've got the smaller one uh, like the procure which is completely based on defenses but has still has two strip miners so it can actually compete a little bit uh, from that perspective it's no longer just a single strip miner uh, that yields in a big box of defense uh, it now actually has two um, then we have the retriever next that is focused on capacity so it has these huge ore holds it also has a bonus on the ore hold and actually has a bonus on uh, the mining yield as well um, you can see now that this has like two of those mining modules in the middle of it it actually looks exactly the same um, in size as um, as the not the Hulk, but as the coveter. And so the coveter here is the mining ship for fleets because it has this much smaller ore hold of 7,000, but it has an even better yield every cycle or an even smaller cycle, thus yielding it more ore uh, as it can continue to mine uh, compared, to, um, compared to the retriever. Um, so obviously, I think personally I prefer to just be able to stay in space longer I will still mine in the Machina or the Retriever myself if you're looking for defense of course you'll, you'll switch to a skiff uh, or a procure but uh, maybe we'll also take a quick look at the tech 2 versions and then on these guys we'll also look at the uh, the fitting window because that's actually pretty important as well you know the design philosophy now you know the bonuses how all of that is going to work but here for instance we have the skiff you can see that this is basically upped by one layer and uh, is, is supposed to represent take two uh, what i like here as well is that you have uh, down here you actually have uh, an outer uh, ring prospects uh, symbol over here this is on every one of them you've got uh, mo5 skiff you get uh, the same thing uh, on all of them and then the ore logo is right here but if we take a look at the fitting window here um, so you have this is the skiff. You actually have five mid slots, which will allow you to uh, to have quite a decent uh, defense. And you have 100 cubic meters of drones, so you should be able to have five mining drones and five defensive drones in this. Not not bad at all. Uh, if we then switch to the machina, I'm not sure if the fitting window is going to switch as well. Um, yeah, this is the machina. So this is actually the big one, the fleet one. You have four mid slots, so you can still uh, field a little bit of defense here. Still three low slots, but uh, only 50 cubic meters uh, available for your drones. Um, so that means that um, you will, of course, have to choose between mining drones and um, defensive drones. And then here we have... What the hell? Oh no, this is the machina. Does it have four mid slots? Okay, it actually has four mid slots. Uh huh. my mistake so this is the machina the solo one and then finally we've got the hulk um 
who also has three low slots, four mid slots and again 50 cubic meters. So extremely similar. You can see that the Hulk and the Machina have come close quite a little bit. Uh, when it comes to the one versions though, it's quite different. Um, so I should show that to you guys as well. Here is the Procure. Again, lovely four mid slots. So you can have some defense, only two low slots and 50 cubic meters, unfortunately for the drones as well. But if you go for the Retriever, there you go, only one mid slot. This is obviously gonna be paper thin when it comes to defenses here. It does have three low slots. So this is for the very greedy solo uh, miner that is uh, increasing his skills. You can go for the retriever, go full yield, but you will have zero defenses, will get uh, ganked pretty easily. And then finally here we've got the cover um, fitting window, also only a single mid slot that is going to hurt it quite a little bit. Um, man, I'm actually surprised the Machina can actually still have four mid slots. I would have thought that maybe they would reduce that to three or something like that. Um, just to give the skiff that extra edge when it comes to uh, to its defenses because the bonuses on these ships are actually a little bit different as well man there's, there's so much to show and it's only six ships um, but here for instance this is the skiff bonus um, for the exhumer it has four percent bonus to shield resistance and an extra two percent to strip miner and ice harvester duration so uh, that is of course the advantage of tech 2 when it comes to the machina it still has four percent bonus to shield resistance two percent bonus to strip miner and har harvester duration as well and then this is the same as the roll bonus and then here we have uh, the Hulk again, 4% bonus shield resistance, 3% bonus to uh, reduction in strip miner and ice harvester reduction. So the Hulk, of course, is where you want to go for the yield. But I'm actually surprised uh, considering the philosophy that they were going and the big difference between the Procure 4 mid slots, Retriever and Coveter no mid slots. And here the Machina, this is what I will still be flying, still having four mid slots. That's actually still quite a lot. You can still feel the decent defense in these. Um, I, I think uh, that, um, yeah, it might be okay for these to only have three. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but uh, for me, of course, this is pretty good because this will allow me to still tank my Machina in a pretty pretty decent manner. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. That's a quick look at uh, some of the changes that are currently on CC and planned for the mining barges. Keep one thing in mind, of course, this is CC. All of these changes and all of these numbers are subject to change. And as I said, personally, I'm, I'm really surprised by how strong they're still allowing the, uh, the Machina uh, and the um, the Hulk to be in tank compared to the skiff. I thought that the skiff might uh, get a bit of an extra advantage compared to that. I honestly see decently little reason uh, to, to jump in a skiff myself. If I take a look at its bonuses, I mean, just the shield resistance, it's, it's exactly the same. Uh, maybe its base stats are better. Let's take a look at those quickly 60 35 25 this is gonna be take two um, so this should be exactly the same yeah I see very little reason to grab the skiff as a defensive option uh, over a machina that can still do pretty much the same but have this much better bonus so it's it's a little strange to me um, but all right uh, I love the the graphics of it of course that does look pretty damn cool bringing the ore line into its own uh, you can clearly see the design here on the top that looks like it's basically uh, two um, two ventures uh, that that are basically melded into a single ship and of course then you've got a single of these modules these mining processing modules you could call them uh, two of them for the machina and then finally three of them for the king of the yield the hulk Man, that does look good as well. Over here, you can also see 09 Hulk um, written down here. Looks looks pretty cool, looks very polished. And uh, thumbs up for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.